This is the awful and disturbing murder of Shanda Sherry, one of the most unsettling true crime cases ever. In the early morning of January 11th, 1992, 12-year-old Shanda Sherry was abducted from her home in Indiana and tortured to death by four teenage girls in extremely inhumane ways. Melinda Loveless, Lori Tackett, Tawny Lawrence, and Hope Rippey, all four of these girls had somewhat of an extremely rocky home life going up, with allegations of molestation and physical abuse from family members. In junior high, Melinda Loveless started dating a girl named Amanda Heverin. However, their relationship was extremely toxic and they broke up. But fast forward to October of 1991, and this is where Amanda meets Shanda and their friendship turns into a romantic relationship. This angers Melinda and she begins discussing ways to murder Shanda. So Melinda put together a plan to have her three friends knock on Shanda's door. A little after midnight on January 11th while she hid in the back of Lori's car under a blanket with a knife. The girls would then go and tell Shanda who they never actually met, that they were friends with Amanda and that they wanted to hang out. But when Shanda got into the car, Melinda jumped out of the back seat and held the knife to Shanda's throat. They then drove Shanda deep into the forest to an abandoned house, where they stripped her naked, tied her up, and brutally beat her for seven hours straight. Melinda tried to cut Shanda's throat, but the knife was too dull, so instead she just strangled her until she was unconscious. All four girls then threw Shanda in the trunk, went back to Lori's house to enjoy soda and clean up. At one point, Shanda woke up and began screaming, so Lori repeatedly stabbed her in the chest multiple times. The girls then got back in the car and drove around for a couple more hours. During the ride, Shanda, who was still alive and stuffed in the trunk, started crying and when Melinda opened the trunk, Shanda sat up covered in blood with her eyes rolled back in the back of her head. Melinda then beat Shanda with a tire iron until she went conscious. She even said that she felt her skull cave in. They then continued driving until they found a burn pile. They then wrapped Shanda in a blanket, sprayed her with Windex, and covered her in gasoline, and set her on fire, but despite all of this, Shanda was still alive. That was until the girls noticed she was still alive, and they went back and set her on fire again, killing her. All four girls then left to go eat breakfast while Shanda burnt to death. Melinda Loveless joked about Shanda's burnt body by saying she looked like the breakfast sausage she was eating. The next day though, Shanda Sherry's body was discovered by two hunters. Tony and Hope then broke down and confessed to the police about the murder. And all four girls were charged with the murder of Shanda Sherry. Tony was sentenced to 25 years, Hope was sentenced to 35 years, and Lori and Melinda were sentenced to 60 years in prison. But what makes this disturbing and sickening case even more sickening, all four of these girls are out of prison and free walking the earth despite having little to no remorse of what they did to Shanda Sherry. The Shanda Sherry case remains one of the most disturbing and haunting true crime cases out there because these were all young teenage girls who were doing something extremely horrible to another girl. This was one of those cases that were extremely hard to read and rest in peace to Shanda Sherry.